Hello, I'm Tamir and welcome to Taddy Brothers. Today we are proud to introduce our first ever digital wireless camera system that was designed in-house, the version 3. This new system has an unprecedented digital wireless range of over 300 feet. And later in this video, we will show you the field test that proves that range. It is also our most heavy duty camera to date and our first camera to boast a 1080p resolution that is transmitted wirelessly between the cameras and the monitors. All the while keeping all the standard features like on while driving that you've come to expect from Taddy Brothers. In fact, let me make another announcement. Moving forward, Taddy Brothers features such as audio, enhanced night vision, and grid lines that were once paid upgrades will now all be included standard and free in each version 3 systems. We have seen that the majority of our customers love these features and in our attempt to keep things simple, we've decided to include them standard. Over the last 20 years, we have sold many systems and we've received Tons of feedback from our loyal customers, such as, I want this type of split view. Can you make it better for security? Can you add audio, but I wanna control the volume, not just a mute button? These are just some of the requests our customers have made. Well, today, Taddy Brothers responds to those requests. We will show you the most intuitive observation system that features some of the most advanced and easy to use features on the market. From giant buttons, to extra large fonts and icons. We have redesigned almost every aspect of the backup camera experience tailored to your convenience. And in this video, we'll talk about the new features, I'll unbox it, and I'll tell you everything you need to know about this new product line. Let's get started. Uh, oh yeah, and one more thing. We also designed a little patriotic Easter egg into each one of the new RV cameras. I can't wait to show it to you, and this time for real, let's get started. Welcome back. First, let's go over the screen. This is the new 7-inch digital wireless monitor featuring 14 unique split views, grid lines, audio, and a 1080p resolution. The grid lines can be turned on or off according to the camera you want it on, and the volume can be adjusted or muted. We put a lot of thought into the physical design and the software of these screens. The buttons are giant and backlit. We added shortcuts to those buttons so you can enter pairing mode without even going into the menu. I'll show you more about that in the unboxing. As for the software, we updated the entire interface with large icons for a more intuitive user experience. When in pairing mode, the countdown clock has been increased to 16 seconds with giant fonts visible from across the vehicle. This screen includes three different mounts. You get a classic butterfly mount, a metal U-bracket. Both can be mounted on the dash or hung from the ceiling for a more natural look. The third mount is a flush trim that has been a top request for many years. If you have a flat surface on your dash, or if you own an old Weldex, Jensen, or Voyager system, you can now use our trim to keep everything looking stock in your vehicle. Finally, for those who want a record of a potential accident or just want extra security for when they're parked, you now have the option of adding an integrated mobile DVR to the screen. These version three dash monitors are available in three sizes. You have a seven, nine, and for the first time, a 10 and a half inch version. For those that want a clip-on mirror, we have a 7-inch mirror for them as well. The DVR upgrade is available for all V3 systems. It's a great upgrade. We suggest you try it. Now, on to the camera. Here, this is where we really went nuts. This new bird's eye view camera is the most heavy-duty, waterproof camera we have ever designed and manufactured. The 160-degree lens has been upgraded to a 1080p resolution. It features grid lines, enhanced night vision, and we even moved the microphone to the face of the camera. This way you can actually understand what is being said. Most importantly, we were able to increase the digital wireless range from 175 feet to 300 feet. If you leave it on while you're driving down the road, the reactive night vision will ensure you never get blinded. As for the physical design, we made the camera slimmer so that it could fit in more locations and we completely redesigned the interface to make it easier to use. 
This camera has an orange pairing button machined into its faceplate with a corresponding blue indicator light that shows when you're in pairing mode. And for those who requested the ability to use it for security, that elegant blue light will stay on as a reminder to any unwanted guest to smile when they're on camera. For those who need the multi-camera system, we got you there too. The 1080p, the audio and the night vision, and that 300 foot range is included in all those cameras as well. Lastly, the Easter egg on the camera's face. If you look closely at the blue light right there, it will line up perfectly with these machined lines that make up the American flag. As I say in all of our videos, Taddy Brothers is proudly American based. It keeps a lot of people around the country employed. This system was conceived, designed, and rigorously tested right here in California. And this is our small way of saying thank you to the greatest country on earth. Next up, let's whip on over to the unboxing. I want you guys to see all the components, how they pair together, how it works, everything that comes in the box. And then after that, don't forget to stick around and see the field test where we show you the crazy distance that we're able to test between the camera and the monitor. Okay, so welcome back. Here we're going to do the unboxing for the digital wireless system. This is the version three. So the first thing I wanted to remind you guys that if you already have one of our older systems, this one is not compatible. So you need a version three camera that will work only with a version three monitor and the version three monitor would only work with a version three camera, right? That's a new system. That's what gives us the 300 plus foot range, which we're gonna do a little test and show you that a little later. Um, first thing I wanna go over is the monitor itself. In this uh, unboxing, we're doing the seven inch. Here's the monitor, how it is. Um, right here is where the antenna goes. It was intentionally, the antenna is really low because of the trim, we'll explain that in a second. Also, you have here the socket for the mount so you can use the slit for the butterfly mount if you want the mount to be behind the screen, or we now add a RAM mount connection, like a quarter inch uh, socket, like for a GoPro, that also goes in there. So it gives you more versatility of how you mount the screen itself. And then again, here is where the um, DVR goes. If you got the DVR upgrade, you're gonna get a monitor that has like a pocket here that you can take out and put the memory stick, the SD card in there so you can record. Right, you could always take out it, take out the SD card, put it in a computer, or of course you could do the playback on the screen itself. Uh, first thing we have here, the SKU number for the screen itself, independently of a system, is SKU 18392. But again, when you buy it in a bundle, we give you all that stuff with it. So um, let's go over the face of the screen itself. Here you have an indicator light. First time we've had something like that, that means when the monitor is getting power, you'll have a, a, a nice elegant light here that won't blind you, but it's nice. Also when you're pairing, this light will blink to let you know you're in pairing mode in addition to the um, countdown number you'll see on the screen itself. These are all the buttons, you have different views, you have here the grid lines, you could do a shortcut to the pairing or enter the DVR mode. A lot of stuff we're gonna go over here. You also get very easy to follow instructions on how to do that. As for the setup for the screen itself, here is what it comes with. The parts are like this. You get a few different antennas, you get a base antenna, you get an extension cord for, for depending on your needs because if you're gonna use the trim, which I'll show you in a second, you're going to, you might wanna put the antenna somewhere under the screen. So you don't necessarily, uh, you might not necessarily wanna use this one here, right? So here, let me set it up for you guys a little bit, show you the different mounts. First mount is the butterfly mount that you see right here. That's included with it. It also has an adhesive for it to go on the bottom, but you can also bolt it in if you want. This monitor, this mount can be mounted from the ceiling or on the dash. It's up to you. It can be mounted under the screen like this, or you can use the metal uh, bar and put it in the slit right here. It's up to you. You get both styles. You also get a metal U bracket. This is more of a heavy duty look. If you want to put the screen on the bracket like this, you can do that. But what's nice about it is you can flip the bracket like so, and then you can hang it from your ceiling. It gives you more of an organic look like how would you, you would look at for a mirror itself. Okay, so that goes here. Um, next up is something that is brand new for our digital systems, and this is the trim. 
It's the first time we've ever had this. We had it on our different analog systems, but we've never had that for this. This will allow you to cut a hole in your dash, or if you have an older system like a Weldex or a Jensen or a Voyager, and you have a hole there already, you can put the hole in there. You could cut the hole a little differently. So this will fit, put it in there, and then you put the monitor inside. In addition to that, every system gets a sun shield because a lot of people requested that. All these things, by the way, are no extra charge. In the past, these were all different upgrades. You're going to see everything that's included here. The only upgrades that we have now is the size of the screen, the style of the screen, and if you want the DVR upgrade or not. Other than that, you have everything that comes pre-installed with it. So let me show you how this works with the sun shield. First, let's take the trim. See that right here? And we're going to thread this cable right under here. Okay, like that. And then we're gonna put it in. And there you go. Now it's in, right? So imagine it in your dash. This is how it looks. It's got a lip on it, so it's gonna look nice. It's not gonna see where you cut it out. We give you exact dimensions in the manual for the cutouts and all that stuff, of course. But here is the screen itself, and then it would just go on the dash like this, right? Now let's say you want the sun shield. You can still use it with it because we designed it with that in mind, right? So we're gonna go here and we're gonna stick it in this hole there. One second, like that. And now you have the, the, the sun shield and the uh, monitor inside the trim. This will look really nice in your dash like that. Never gonna be blinded. Remember that this is our new 1080p screen. So it's also ultra bright. So you wouldn't, you might not even need the sun shield itself, but nevertheless, uh, we give it to you guys so you have it. Everybody's got different environments that they work in. Uh, and then behind here, we would just plug in the antenna and you're good to go. So it all goes under the dash itself, right? So here, let me take this out now. Now let's say we wanted to get access to the memory stick. You would just pop it out like that, take out the memory stick and pop it into the computer. Or like I mentioned before, of course you can uh, do the playback on the screen itself if you need to see it. Okay, next thing I wanna do is show you guys our new antennas. These are our new ultra thin antennas. They are, they are what helps you get that over 300 foot range. If there's no antenna, you're not gonna get that kind of range. We give you uh, two of those in the system itself. Right, they're interchangeable. We lasered our name here so you know it's a Taddy Brothers original, okay? And that would go right back here like this. Okay. And then we have the antenna there and we're good to go with that, okay? Next up is are the different cameras. So the first thing is the camera everybody wants to see is the new RV camera that we have. Again, here we lasered our brand on it so you know that it's ours. It's also something you can see from the uh, street itself, right? It's also on the bracket. You can see like that. Now you get two different kinds of brackets with this. You get the long one and you get the short one. Show you that one right there, All right? So you get two different lengths, depending on your particular needs. Some people have it need the long one. Some people need the short one. We give you both, no extra charge. As for the camera itself, it's a self-contained unit, okay? Something that we designed for the ground up. All these LEDs are for the night vision. This is the best night vision we've ever had on a camera itself. Here is the protruding camera, so you can see the lens. You can see it this way, so you have a wide angle view. The uh, camera itself has these two indicators here. There's the blue indicator, which is the uh, tells you that the camera is getting power, and there's the button for the pairing process. In the past, you would have to use a button to pair it right? With the new RV camera, you don't need to do that. You hold down this button and it pairs. I'll show you in a second how it is. One other thing that we have here, let me give the camera some power so you can see that. One other thing that we have here is if you look right here on the camera, it's something that I've mentioned probably before, you have the American flag right there. There's no cynicism here. This is something that we're very proud of. This company keeps a lot of Americans at work and we put it on here. We put it in our design because it is in our DNA. So you can see that right there and it's like 3D. It's really cool how they machined it in there. And then if you look, right, it lights up. So it has other uses for customers, for example, that want to use this for security. When the camera is on and somebody's outside, you now have an indicator light. Anybody that walks around there will see that, it, hey, you're on camera, right? And then to get into pairing mode, you just hold this down and this starts blinking. So that's there, that's that camera there. Let me show you uh, next up, oh, one more thing I forgot. 
The cameras now also have this for a RAM mount. So if you wanna use a different type of mount, you can do that as well. It's the same thing that the GoPro has. It's machined into the body of the camera itself. Okay, this is the most durable camera we have from a waterproof, heat, cold standpoint. This thing is bulletproof. We tested it in ways that I never even thought cameras can get tested. This is the most durable camera we've ever built. Okay, so here's this camera right here. Now let me show you guys the uh, side camera. All right, this is the metallic metal based side camera. Same thing, it's got a ball inside of a housing. So you put the camera on the side like this and then you can move the ball to get that perfect view. What most people do with this camera is that they put it towards the front under the driver and the passenger and then point it backwards, right? This way you can angle it and get that, angle it and get that perfect view that you're looking for, right? So that's the side camera. Next up is the, uh, this is the Furion marker light style camera. It is not a Furion camera, but it's a marker light style camera. Okay, that would go on the side of the vehicle as well. You use this to power it by uh, the, connecting it to the marker light so the lights will trigger when your marker lights are on. And then this is the camera itself and these are the power connectors for the camera. You plug it in 12 volts there and that's the pairing button. All that gets hidden behind the camera itself once, it, once it's installed. But this is something that people have requested and we have it with the version three. Okay, uh, last camera is the license camera. This system here, it, this camera, it has the same hunt, uh, 300 foot plus range as all the other cameras, but it's designed to go on a lower point. So you could put it on your license plate on the back of your trailer or RV, or um, you could actually put it in the front. Remember the camera, the monitor has all these different features where you can reverse any image or rotate any image to get that perfect view. So if you put this on the front, you can use it as a front camera and it also angles. So you can see exactly what's going on in front of you. Whether it's a construction vehicle, a horse trailer, a bus, anything, a school bus is really popular with that. Um, you might wanna use, the, add this type of camera to the system itself, right? So next up is let me power up the system and show you how to pair it, okay? So one second, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the antenna here as well. I'm gonna screw it in. All right, one second here, we got the antenna, got that. Let me power it up and let me power up the monitor that we have right here. Okay, so now we got the monitor powered up, we got the camera powered up, and let me get it into pairing mode. So first thing we're gonna do is, there's a way to do it through menu, but actually we created a shortcut for the pairing. If you hold down the DVR button, it's gonna go into pairing. And what you're gonna see is big numbers because we want it to be clear for people. Usually it's like, you see how it says no signal? Usually the numbers were that small, but if you're far away from it, that's not gonna work, right? So here, let me enter it into pairing mode. All right, you got the 69 second countdown. We'll put that over here like that. And then let me put the camera into pairing mode, right? So I want you guys to see the light, how it starts blinking. First of all, this light is blinking over here. I hope that comes off on the camera like that, right? And then we have here the uh, uh, blinking light over here. So let me put it into pairing mode like that. I'm holding it down for three seconds. All right, see that blink in there? And now it's going zero, zero and the camera is good to go, right? Now you might be hearing my echo, hello, right? Because this camera includes audio, okay? You can mute it, so then you won't hear anything, right? And now there's no, there's no sound, but again, all these upgrades are included. You can mute the sound, you can control the volume, there's different things you can do with it, but there's no more upgrades, right? It's just DVR and screen size and screen style. It's all included in every single one of the cameras. So you have here the uh, digital camera right there, it's connected to it, you have it here working. Uh, next thing I wanna show you guys is, let's say we wanna pair another camera, what we're going to do is we're gonna move to the next channel, right? And we're gonna go here to channel two, and I'm gonna connect, let's say, I'm just gonna do one more camera here. I'll do this one. Let me get some power to it. Uh-huh, right here. Okay, because this one's got the button on it. It's that style so we can cover it. And we're gonna enter into pairing mode. I'm gonna show you the other way to do it, right? You can click on menu, you go into pairing, you click okay, and now you have that 
thing right there. So the camera itself already triggered into pairing mode. So it was, it was really quick, right? This is the one here like that, right? So there it is. If you want, let me see if I can do it again. Let me go to another channel, right? We'll go to channel three and we're gonna put it into pairing mode. Hold it down, right here. You got the countdown and I'm gonna put the camera here into pairing mode. Let's see here, like that. And there you go, you have it pairing, all right? Sometimes when the camera turns on initially, if it wasn't paired before, it's gonna automatically go into pairing mode. Again, our goal is to get you up and running as fast as possible. But that is basically the setup. I mean, beyond that, um, you can go here to the split screen modes, right? Like this is channel four. This is another split screen mode like that. And then you have different modes and how you can play around with it, right? So you can see different versions of it. Here I have the three, but if you go into the menu, okay, let's go get, well, you have to get out of split screen mode for that. You're gonna go into menu, you can see right here, and then we're gonna go to the modes, click okay. Here you have all the different split screen modes that we have. So if there's a default view that you want, you can manipulate it to do that. The other thing is when you buy the product, you get an email from us that will uh, show you uh, different videos of how to set it up and how to install. These are custom videos that we made actually right here on this workbench right here. So you get all that included, it's all ready to go. The system itself has a 300 foot range, you get the audio, you get the grid lines included with the system itself down to the channel. You have the grid lines included. These are no longer things that you need to upgrade. Also, all the cameras are already high definition. No more upgrades on that as well. And um, as you can see, the reception here is good, but we're gonna go outside a little later and we're gonna do a, a test to show you how far it can go. But uh, that's, that's the unboxing, folks. You got the camera, you got the marker light, you got the side camera, we got the RV camera. Uh, this is something that we're really proud of, and uh, let's let's go to the next segment right now. We'll be back in a second. Thank you. All right, test number two. The first one didn't go well, as you remember, we ran out of tape. So we got this machine right here that spins, and that's how it's tracking the feet. We can go up to 10,000 feet on this device. We attach the camera to it, pointing right at those numbers. You're gonna see it on the screen right here. The camera is getting powered by our 18 hour battery pack, the one that has the magnetic base and the um, indicator lights. This is our newest battery pack. It is actually what's powering the camera. And we have another battery pack on the back here that's powering the monitor itself. So in case you wanna get creative with what you wanna do with the system, it is compatible with that as well. Now, a couple of things you should know. First, this camera, side camera, or the license camera all have the same chipset and technology inside, which means it's going to go the same distance no matter what form the camera is in. Same thing with the monitor as well. We got the 10 inch, the nine inch, seven inch mirror, and this is the seven inch monitor, okay? So let me give you guys a closer look at the RV camera right here. There's that face plate we love and see right there. You see the buttons that'll make it easier to operate. And I want you to notice the American flag. Very proud of that. I know the guy who designed it. So here it is right there. We're giving them the credit. Next up is the seven inch monitor that you're gonna see right here. Okay, I want you guys to get, take a good closer look at it. Uh, in the unboxing you saw it as well, but just a reminder of how it's looking right there. So we have everything here. Uh, next thing, Gabe is going to walk there. I'm gonna tell him to stop. Hopefully we get to the 300 feet at that point. We'll tell them to stop. We don't want them to get a heart attack, okay? Who's gonna do customer service otherwise? Anyways, let's get to it. We are at zero, zero. Let's start recording. You see the red light and we're off. All right. 25 feet, cool. There you go. Now remember, this is the screen here. You got the reception, the channel that you're on. This is telling us that we're recording and that there's an SD card in there. Okay, we're at 70, 80 feet. We're gonna blow through 100. That's not gonna be a problem, right? There's Gabe, he's getting a little small, but that's okay. okay let's see if I can get both of them in there. Now remember here, oh, there we go. We blew, we blew through 100. We blew through 100. 
All right, now remember, we have 14 different view modes. So you see different split screens. So if you have three at a time, two at a time, four at a time, H view, T view, there's a lot of different views of how you can see it. All right, we just blew through 150. We're going to 200, no problem. There he is. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see him, though. I'll try to zoom in, give him some credit on that. There you go, okay? So now we got that. We're at 190, 195 and we just blew through 200. There you go, 200, all right, cool. There we go. Now remember, you can do the pairing from the screen itself. You can mute it on the screen itself. You can activate the grid lines, right? Like this, we can have the grid lines, we can turn them off. All the features are easy to access giant buttons, okay? Let's see where Gabe is now. We are going to 270, 280, all right, we're going to 300. Let's blow through the 300. 300! All right, let's see him there. There's Gabe. And I think we're gonna have to call him back at this point. Where are we stopping there? We are at 218, 220. All right, I think that's it. We just went through 325. There you go. We are good to go. All right, Gabe, let's come back. We're good. That's the test, guys. 327 feet. I just don't need him to go inside there because it's already dark, right? So we're not gonna be able to see the numbers. But nevertheless, um, unless you guys are driving an ocean liner, I think uh, 328 feet is good. All right, all right, let's go back inside and uh, wrap it up. See you guys soon. It's gonna take him some time to get back. Okay, 328 feet, logged in. And uh, don't worry about Gabe, he is back at his desk, a little grumpy, but he is alive. So what do we see here today? We introduced the version three digital wireless product line. We went over all the new and standard features that are now included in every V3 system. Your only choice in terms of upgrade is the screen size, screen style, and whether or not you want to upgrade to the screen that includes an integrated mobile DVR. Again, the mobile DVR thing is mainly for vehicle security and if you want a record in the event of an accident. No matter which you choose, all version 3s are 1080p and as we showed, have a 300 foot range. One thing regarding the range, some have asked, why do I need something that goes 300 feet? My vehicle is barely 42 feet. That's a great question. The issue is that between the steel, aluminum, uh, air conditioning, appliances, today motorhomes, trailers, and even construction equipment have a lot of signal blocking elements that are inherent to those vehicles. By establishing a 300 foot plus digital wireless range, we ensure that the video will work flawlessly the first time you need it and every time you need it, even while you're driving down the road or have it pop on when you go in reverse. But that's my pitch, folks. You now know everything about the new version three. So if all these features and demonstrations don't convince you to buy from us, let me remind you of a few other benefits. First, anything you buy from Taddy Brothers always includes a 30 day, 100% full money back guarantee. That means that if you're not happy for any reason, even if you don't like the smell of the tape we use to close the box, you have 30 days from the date of delivery to send it back for a full refund. Next, all products purchased on taddybrothers.com feature our world-class one-year warranty, which is serviced right here in the USA. Now, if our loosey-goosey refund policy or our one-year warranty don't tickle your fancy, I challenge you to whip on over to trustpilot.com. Type in Taddy Brothers and read our hundreds and hundreds of verified, that is verified, five-star reviews. There you will see exactly how we treat our customers. And for those of you that look at reviews, you know exactly how it is, how hard it is to achieve that. But I can't take that credit. That credit belongs to our knowledgeable and friendly customer service agent that patiently go above and beyond to make sure our customers feel like family. And I hope you will let us do the same for you. 
If you have any other questions on this product or anything else, feel free to call us anytime at 866-966-5550. And our American Base team will answer any questions you might have. If you wanna speak with me, I'm Tamir, I'm always around, and it will be my honor to earn your business. From all of us here at Taddy Brothers, thanks for watching and have a great day.